Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 7. In this video, we're going to be learning how to work with our various editing techniques and keystrokes that we have available in our Holly EFI software. If we want to go in and edit our main fuel table or our main spark timing table, those are going to be a three-dimensional table. We're going to have various editing techniques that we have available to us in the software and keystrokes that we can perform to make ourselves more proficient at doing the calibration process. We're also going to be taking a look at working with our two-dimensional tables, being able to learn those particular editing techniques and keystrokes that we're going to be fast at editing those tables as well. There's a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our keystrokes and editing techniques that we have available in our Holly EFI software. Now, whether we're going to be working with our fuel table or our spark timing table, we're going to have different editing techniques we have available to us that are going to be more appropriate based on one table or another. Now, we also have what's known as a three-dimensional table here. We also have what's known as a two-dimensional table here. If we're looking at something like our cranking fuel, that's going to have different techniques applied to different tables. So we need to learn the different variations in our editing techniques and our editing keystrokes here we have available to us so we can apply them appropriately based on the table that we're working with. Now, we're not going to learn how to actually tune the main fuel table or the spark timing table here in this video. We're just going to be covering the editing techniques to move the values within the table to do what we'd like. So let's jump in here to our three-dimensional fuel table here, our three-dimensional main table. We can see it's based on map pressure and engine RPM. So if we plot the values within the table here graphically, we're going to see it's going to produce a three-dimensional style format. If we jump into our two-dimensional table here, jumping back into this cranking fuel, if we take a look, we have a singular row of values. If we plot that graphically, that's going to be what's known as a two-dimensional table. So that's where they get their names from. So what we're going to be working with here in a three-dimensional table is going to be slightly different in the editing techniques that we have available then in the two-dimensional table. So jumping back in here to this three-dimensional table, let's talk about our keystrokes first that we have available to work with in the software. There's limited keystrokes in the Holly software compared to other tuning softwares. It makes things very, very simple, but we need to learn them just the same. So if I highlight an area in the table here, it doesn't matter where I highlight. If I go here to right click, I can see that I have these keystrokes available. We have an undo, which is very important to learn. We have a cut, which is control X, copy, which is control C, and paste control V. This is pretty standard Windows keystrokes here. So let's just demonstrate what these are going to look like real quick. So if I highlight this area right here and I want to just turn all the values to zero, I'll use control X. That's going to be just zeroing out and getting rid of all the values. Now, that's something we probably don't want to do in our main field table. And in fact, I don't really use that keystroke ever within the Holly software, but it is there. If I want to turn the values back to the previous values in the table and essentially undo my change, I will do control Z and we can see everything is reverted back to the way it was. Control Z is in a very important keystroke to memorize and use. You're going to be finding as you're making your changes, you're going to make mistakes. This is a way to essentially undo your mistake that you just made. We also have a copy paste function that's pretty standard across any Windows software. Um, if we highlight a row here, let's just say these values, we want to copy this row into the row above it. We're able to do control C, let's do that keystroke here, and then jump into the row above it and we can do control V. We can see copy paste. Now the key with this, if using, using copy and paste, we have to make sure that the row that we're copying and the row that we're pasting into are going to be the same. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.